Hello traders, welcome to the daily technical forex forecast for the 11th of April. My name is Andrew Shaneski, I am a technical analyst at Triumph Fix and as usual we start our forecast with UBRUSD currency pair. The price sold an abrupt growth and broke out the previous level of resistance which is a great bullish signal. Moreover, the breakout movement was supported by the huge volume which only strengthens its importance. On the other hand, the new volume level of resistance was created, it's 1.2365, 1.2375. Thus, we can consider long positions with the euro only after the confident and sharp breakout of the new formed level of resistance. The breakout movement must be supported by the large volume in order to ensure us against the fake breakout. A stop loss should be placed below the breakout volume bar and the potential of the deal is around 90 100 pips. So, with the euro purchases after the confident breakout of the level of resistance. The pound. The price also grew up, but the rise was smooth and supported by the average volume, so that we can't point out any new volume level or zone. Besides it, the pair is trading below the level of resistance 1.4240. Therefore, we can regard long positions only after the continuation of the growth of the price and the confident breakout of the level of resistance. The breakout movement must be supported by the large volume, which will be a more reliable and secure signal for entering the market. A stop should be placed below the breakout volume bar and the potential of the deal is more than 100 pips. So with the pound, Long positions after the confident breakout of the level of resistance on the large volume. The yen. Nothing has changed here as the price is still trading in the local consolidation a little bit below the level of resistance 107.48. Thus, we can point out two possible trading scenarios here. The first one is a breakout of the level of resistance on the large volume, which will be a great bullish signal and will allow us to open long positions with this instrument. The second one is a test of the level of resistance and a sharp rebound of the price down. The fall must be supported by the large volume, which will be a great bearish signal and will consent us to consider opening short positions. So with the yen, we need to wait for a sharp and strong reaction of the price on the level of resistance. Our next instrument is a Canadian dollar. The downtrend with this currency pair is going on. Besides it, the fall was sharp and supported by the large volume, which is a great bearish signal, so all factors tell us that we must give preference to sales with this instrument. We can enter the market after a smooth upward correction of the price in order to obtain a better entry point. A stop loss should be placed a little bit above the beginning of the abrupt drop of the price and the potential of the deal is more than 100 pips. So with the Canadian dollar, short positions must be in priority. The Australian dollar. The price showed a significant growth yesterday and now is trading a little bit below the level of resistance, the upper limit of the local consolidation 0.7775. Thus, we can consider a scenario of the breakout of this mark, which will be a great bullish signal and will consent us to open purchases with this instrument. The breakout movement must be keen and supported by the large volume, which will be a more reliable signal for entering the market. A stop loss should be placed below the breakout volume bar and the potential of the deal is more than 100 pips. So with the Australian dollar, long positions after the sure breakout of the level of resistance. And our last instrument for today is gold. The price continued growing, but unfortunately the rise of the pair was smooth and on the small volume so that we can't point out any new volume level or zone. Besides it, now gold is trading in the middle of the local consolidation between two strong volume levels. The first one is a support 1323.10, 1324.40. The second one is a resistance 1355.70. Therefore, the best decision with this instrument is just to wait for a confident exit of the price from this range. The breakout movement must be supported by the large volume in order to ensure us against a false breakout and of course it will be a more secure signal for entering the market. Also, we must note that given the general situation in the market, we should give a little preference to the scenario of the breakout of the resistance and opening long positions 
But first of all, we need to wait for the exit of the pair from this consolidation. Let's take a look at the sentiment of the market. This indicator affirms all our trading scenarios, which is a great additional confirmation signal. With the yen, we should give preference to short positions according to this indicator, but still we need to wait for the strong reaction of the price to the level of resistance. With gold, we must give advantage to long positions, but still, first of all, we need to wait for the exit of the price from the range. For today it's all. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this forecast will be useful for you. Subscribe to our channel to stay in touch with the latest researches. See you. Bye-bye.